too. Okay, recording again. Uh, response to some feedback that he'd gotten from the community um, that the city was interesting in investing more in the Smithsonian in order to get the word out um, and so you know there I'm a yes to that you know um, so I guess really now is like what would that look like for you guys um, Steve said that this was the body that I was supposed to address about this so um, that's why I'm here. Well, one, one thing, uh, if we approve a proposal later, there's a radio spot that uh, has a Smithsonian in it. It's going to go to uh, several markets, uh, out of market radio stations. So that'll be part of what we can do. Can we, can we run that out of KCRT locally as well? Good. We can do it that one too, yes. So could you say more about that, given that I'm the guy talking on the radio all the time? I don't know about this. <laughs> We're going to be a bit later than that, but um, I think the general intent is just to get a quick promo because um, revenues are down across the board uh -huh. uh, really bad. And yeah, so yeah. I know there's been some pressure from businesses to do something. Well, right. that's, that's what I'm so we, wanting to So we have a December promotion that we hope to pass in a little bit. And the only mention, we talk about museums and different things here, but the only mention with name is this whole. Gotcha. Okay. And then we will do a spot more directed at, you know, hey, it's here. Go see it. Okay. We have, we have ads that run on the on KCRT. It's perfect. Do you um, think we could do a standalone ad also? Uh, that's that's the one that we'll just change it to that. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, just the one that's running now is probably got, you know, enough airtime that we can pull it off. This is what's only, um, mainly it's to reflect that we're uh, actually doing something. So. Sure. Yeah. So just so we're working hand in hand here, KCRT is the primary media sponsor for the Smithsonian. Right. So, um, 
I mean, at this point, we're probably going to be doing um, weekly interviews, and they're also reading our PSA. So just mm -hmm. that this will just add to yeah, the PSA, PSA, just PSA. so you know that that's happening. So that we're you know. Yeah, do I need to turn this off? Sure. Yeah, it is on. Hey, Jason, we've got the code team ready if you want to come here. Hey, Jason, are you on the computer now? Amanda, can you hear me? And K-I-T-N-S. I can hear you. Yes, I can. So, your ask is just that we do some advertising. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I had given some thought. I was trying to remember exactly what all was. I've heard some feedback or some, some sort of feedback chatter about wanting to modernize what it is that we're doing and just thinking about what it is that we already have in place for the Smithsonian that we could expand. Um, you know, if it makes sense to you know, do 60 and 90 second live interview spots with different businesses or different artists or organizations that are contributing to Smithsonian. Um, my thought was that in that way we're, you know, it's the many birds want to see, right? We can be saying Smithsonian and Trinidad and highlighting different businesses and talent that are be that are a part of it. What that does, you know, if that scratches the you know the marketing itch that seems to exist, <laughs> then we could do that. If it doesn't, you know, it was a thought that I had. Um, is there any single collateral piece that summarizes everything that's going on? Because like I've seen it, he's been putting out separate. Facebook events for each thing, which is great. Um, but it would be really good to have like basically an elevator pitch or and like maybe on the back side of that a schedule um, that lists all of it. Um, that is the piece I think that would be easiest to promote. So because my immediate thought was okay, we can go sponsor those event listings, for example, like on Facebook. Um, I'm not totally certain, and maybe Jason can chime in in a minute on that, um, if they're set up and ready to go on that front or not. Um, but that was my media thought was just some sponsored ads, throw a few hundred dollars towards it, promoting it within the region. Um, but I do think probably the best way to do it, rather than each of those individual events, because that feels very fragmented for people who haven't heard about the Smithsonian exhibit yet, mm -hmm. um, is a single piece. Uh, whether that's some type of image post, probably more ideally, it's a landing page. So a mini website that is just like, this is going on, here's why it's cool, here's the schedule, click these links to go for more info. Um, so I'll answer that. So if you go to the Creative District's web website right now, every event in chronological order that is part of Smithsonian is already up on their website. Um, all the Facebook events are up to date. Um, That's the core zone. Yeah, core zone they turned in. The, so one piece of print collateral. So we started marketing inside of the utility bill. So today was our third wave thousand each time um, that is a back and front here's what's you know here's our calendar of events and these are the people that are supporting it so that already exists if it fits the bill um, the other thing that we're doing is um, we have distribution agreements with the world journal and the weekender so we've got a six by nine postcard uh, that is Smithsonian on the front and schedule on the back that we're going to be inserting into 27 plus 15, 30, 4,200 newspapers that are going to be out. So um, that might be a piece of print collateral that already exists that might, uh, this is what the front, this is this is what the fronts like. look like. The backs will be uh, all of our info. So those are two things that already exist um, that might satisfy uh, what you were asking for. 
Yeah, I think that that's great, especially in terms of getting something out quick. Um, looking at that web page now. Yeah, I think that this fits the bill well enough. We probably could tweak it a little bit, um, but I think that we could roll this out um, with a sponsored post pretty easily. Um, Jason, have you talked to Anissa at all about that lately? I have not, I have not heard anything about that in a while. Um, I don't know what's what's going on. I'm with the bad guy, but don't still have Yeah. So I mean, as far as us as a board, we could at a minimum say we're willing to spend X amount on social media advertising for this. Okay. Um, and at that point, I guess it's in doing Anissa's hands in terms of executing. Um, so we can provide. She, she's definitely capable of that. Yeah. Um, that. That might be the fastest way to do it. Um, but yeah, and she and I are cool. Yeah, real quick. We get lots done in a short amount of time. Um, I'm going to drop a link in for you and Amanda, Jason. I'm joining the GoTo so you can see this, uh, the image itself. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Jason? It's coming up pretty soon. Like 500 bucks? Well, that's kind of a loaded question um, because <laughs> we can set the budget. So you can set a daily budget within there. Um, typically, a good place to start is just to roll with their recommendations. So based on who you're targeting, Facebook will say we think that you should set your daily bid at whatever, $12. And they will only spend up to that. So they try and if you set an overall budget, they will try and maximize and you can maximize based on click throughs or just on exposure. Um, so in this case, you probably just want more eyeballs than anything. Yeah, we're not selling tickets. Right. I looked at some of the the analytics from the lit and their social media buy and I've never really paid attention to that stuff before, but for Two hundred and fifty dollars getting what didn't seem they didn't get two hundred and fifty anything. So they didn't get a buck per whatever click or whatever. They didn't sell any tickets. So um, you know, I was looking at that and said maybe if all we need are eyeballs and exposure because so much of the information is available in other places, might we get more for two hundred and fifty dollars than the lit did. You know, because when I glanced at that, it looked like we just, well, let's just say bang, because I don't know who did it, but it just looks like that money got thrown into a hole, you know, and I would really like to avoid throwing any resource into a hole. You know, you in, know? This, in this case, at a minimum, we're going to come away with those impressions, so sure. people who see it, and all that is okay. supported in the back end. So, okay. like, I can tell you as an example, I ran some... Facebook ads for Tarantula, two uh -huh. different ones for like maybe July through August. Uh -huh. um, and my total budget was $500 and it was shown to thousands of people. And that was targeting just like basically the neighboring counties. Okay. So like church ad in the nearby area. All right. Um, so definitely we'll get eyeballs on it. All right. You know, so just a suggestion is um, this particular piece right here. The Smithsonian is pretty small at the bottom. Uh -huh. you know, I wish it was more pronounced. That's the Smithsonian's piece of collateral. Is it? Yeah. The other thing I was going to mention in order to get some local stuff, uh -huh. put something like this in some of the busiest businesses. It sure. Should. Yeah, we've got thousands of in those cards. The banks, you know, the yep. lumber yard, uh, grocery stores. And we call those dead drops in the CIA, but in guerrilla marketing, we'll call them dead drops too. Yeah. The kind of local market. You said on the back of them is, is a basic. Yeah, it's going to be the yeah QR codes, 
you know, to Websites, click through, schedule so like events. I can pull stuff out there for copies for the radio. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, or I can send you any, anything that's going to go on the back of that card is on my computer right now. Mm -hmm. So that would be good. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, these uh, Facebook ads, regional, or are we, I mean, are we trying to satisfy some of the requests of the hotel people by trying to get people from out of our region in, or are we social media in within our region? Um, I don't see any reason not to do both. Okay. Okay. You know, if you blow through it, we can also revisit it. And just bump it up. Um, so where do we want to start? I I don't think we need to go over a thousand is for sure. Um, that's kind of have to already. What do you have to do to move that full? So you can well, sell it how you make your motion. So you can start with five hundred dollars and if it requires or if it demands more exposure. Uh, you can set it with a thousand dollar max. They also they do not be allocated funds. Yeah, we have twenty k already allocated. We won't need to do anything else. So do we really need to? I mean, it's not a new thing. It's Facebook ads. That that money is allocated to the Facebook ads. We're just saying, okay, this Facebook ad is going to be about the Smithsonian. Do we even need to motion that? Well, we should probably at least agree. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's worth so it's specific. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would kind of like to see something put together that's like this, but um, I don't want to overwhelm. But also, it has a little bit of what's going on, where it's like film exhibits, art exhibits, discussions, mm -hmm. etc. Um, like on the image. Because oh, it'll, right. it'll link through. Like, so if this is a Facebook ad, right? You're scrolling and this is what comes up. Uh huh. I don't know if this is enough. Oh, I would. Really, text or anything. Yeah, so we were, these were sent to us from the Smithsonian. So rather than have a box of these things sitting around, <laughs> waiting for somebody to fall over them four years from now, we figured we would put them to good use. Uh, we can't print on the front because it's already coded, but we talked to Ron over at Cedar Street, he can do the back. So it saved us, you know, color printing on the front and stock and whatever else. But, you know, if you guys want to do something differently, then, you know. Yeah, well, I think that Anissa could use that as a launch spot, yeah. like as a general design, so that sure. it's cohesive. Yeah. And, um, just add a little bit more on top. Sure. Um, here's the other thing is do we need to see this stuff or can we just say I need to go for it, get them up as soon as possible? I mean, we have a pretty short time. I mean, we trust each other, so. Yeah, yeah I feel like she do wish to do this. Yeah, One of the, the great things about working with her on this is she knows of the Smithsonian rules and she knows the city of Trinidad rules when it comes to graphics. So there's just a whole bunch of stuff that you don't have to worry about making a mistake on that, frankly, I'm happy to not have to think about it. So, um, you know, the turnaround is always good. Um, all right. Well, I would motion <coughs> that we allocate, say, 500 to start. Um, $500 of the $20,000 we have available to spend on social media advertising towards promoting the Smithsonian exhibit. And then we request Anissa Roth to proceed with executing those Facebook ads. Um, by Instagram also. Um, <coughs> up to? Up to $500. Up to? Up to a thousand? Starting at 500. Mm, okay. Okay. Do we have a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Jason, Amanda? 
Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Okay. Motion passes. All right. Motion passes. Thank you. Yeah, um, send me that stuff and then I'll get the spot. Awesome. Thank you. Any questions? This week. Two weeks later. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will make in this RFP questions for marketing firms. Um, just so sort quick of before oh, we Sure. Um, sorry. Um, in terms of the next steps, um, should one of us reach out to Anissa? Marty, do you want to handle that? Or are we just uh, going to go to Ken? Yeah. yeah, Ken and I will both. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Sorry. Now, on to the next slide. RFP questions for marketing firms. Um, I actually uh, forgot to take that off. Uh, because I did have some questions, they wanted to know the budget. That was the big question. Um, and I kind of left and was like, oh gosh, I don't know, let me check with this, the city manager. And then, um, of course, I did send an email, but I didn't get a response. So then I was responded with, well, I think it's about 100000 Um, which I think is more than that. But you, I kind of gave an estimate. You don't have your agenda, do you? RFP? Yeah, it's the RFP questions for marketing firms. Oh, okay, I don't have that one. Oh, okay. okay. That's awesome. Sorry. <laughs> you must, I thought I took it off, or maybe you got an old one that is before. That's what I got. Um, I was able to get with Steve, though, and um, he was like, yes, that's fine. You know, we don't want to give him an exact number, but a ballpark is okay. Um, I think I also reached out to Jason about that question, too. Um, so I did that uh, we should be getting some stuff from uh, at least one of them was excited to hear um, from us so we should be getting some from it. I don't really have an action item with that agenda. Sure. It kind of worked itself out. Uh, I did hear from Ad Pro saying they would be responding with the proposals so that's the only one. Oh and Cone Marketing. Cone is who we engaged for the Visitor guide. So, Cole and Adam are the only two. The lady that was asking me questions is from Astronaut. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of them will wait to the last minute. Oh, they will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that was it. Anybody else have anything there? All right. Then let's move on to the business. Uh, the first item is the Visit Trinidad website review. So I know we wanted to take some time to take a look at this together um, and discuss any kind of updates um, that we thought it might need or perhaps some suggestions for posts, blog posts. Do you know if it's gone live? The staging no. site does not work for me anymore. No, it has not gone live. She's working on it, but that's... I mean, the last, time, the last time I looked at it, we've got a ways to go yet. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the staging link is broken for me, which may totally ruin this uh, agenda item. Well, we can postpone it. We are a little pressed for time as well. Um, um, if there's something pressing, if we get close to where we're ready to launch before that goes live, we'll review it again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, we won't go live until we have a review from you guys. You know, if necessary, you guys can always call us. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So if uh, I'm, I'm getting the sense that we're going to move on from this item, anybody have any objections to that? I think we'll probably take a vote to postpone to a later date. So let's take a vote to postpone for a later date. All in favor of postponing? Aye. Aye. I'm having a really hard time hearing or seeing you guys. Um, Joe, could I just give you a call again? I thought it was a lot more effective than yeah. this video. But then we don't get to see you. Well, he can stay on the screen. He just has to mute while he's on the phone. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, we you your computer, mate. Right? Yeah. 
So we were uh, voting to postpone the Visit Trinidad website review. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't know, Jason, if you're able to pull up the staging site at all, but I'm getting a critical error on the link I have been using. So I don't know if maybe it changed or if something else is broken. But if we can't get on it, we can't review it. Yeah, so currently we're on new business, um, looking to review the, the new visit Trinidad website, but I'm not able to access the staging environment. Uh, I was just at, wondering if you're able to pull it up. Um, no, I got to put it on. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks like Marty's not as well. So we'll probably have to ask Anissa to check on that before we can do anything with it. Yeah, I have not checked in a minute, but I will, I'll double check now, but if you can't get on it. Yeah, most likely. So we were voting to table it um, for a future okay. meeting. So all in favor of table or postponing it to a later date? Aye. Aye. Amanda, are you there? She made me feel sick. <laughs> she, she wasn't really awake. Yes, Amanda. You don't sound very good. No, I'm not. I'm laying down most of this. <laughs> okay, so there's a vote on the table to postpone the vote or the discussion on the uh, website review. You're the only one that hasn't voted. Is that okay? Yeah, with you? Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right, next item is discussion of web form for our business spotlight features. Do we do anything with this from the last time? That's a question for Jason. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe. I think it was his proposal. Yeah, I have not done anything. Close. I don't think it was this is does anybody anybody have anything to contribute to this discussion item? You know, I think emotionally postponed it. Till Jason's had a chance to do something. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say access to a whatever form that we use, and I can make one real quick. Big job form. I mean, we, um, we could make a list of what we think would need to be on it uh, during this time, and that way if we continue to have access issues is something else we could hand off. Um, and that way, all we're doing is leaving other people to get it done. Do you want to go with your own motion? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanks. I will do that. Yes. And I would say, um, you would be required to submit like three high quality pictures and a sh at least a three, like a three cent check of a pair of a Something like that. Just um, publish your business name, address, um, social media accounts, and website. Um, and what specifically you would like us to promote? Those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Sounds great. Yeah, a few other basics. I mean, you said business name, address, hours should definitely be on there. Um, yeah, phone and email. So, I mean, all the basic contact stuff. QR codes if they have those. Did you say anything, Jason, about like specific some um, promotion? Like what you were. Um, yeah, like if they had anything specific, they wanted to say, like, I don't know, say it was a restaurant and they had a new menu item or. 
Uh, so a lot of time making a special event, you know, there's a special thing at Skateland or, I don't know, just, just something like that. If, if, if they want to, I don't know if they want to go that route or not, but... Just yeah. like, like discounts and promotions? Yeah, yeah discounts, yeah. yeah, basically anything that they are like, hey, we want, we want you to highlight this, yeah, so discount, uh, menu item, events, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it should be like something adventurous if we wanted to highlight somebody just to make it a little more juicy and interesting and catchy. Jason, I have a question. How are we, uh, is this just going to be on the website and then anybody that sees it will fill it out or is there going to be a promotion for this on our end, on your end? Yeah, I mean, I think that would be a good thing to post on like the, the Visit Canada sites, um, um, the, the social media accounts, have it on the website and just have it as kind of an, an ongoing thing and see if you know people have any any interest in this we could reach out to people as well um, would we be interested in sharing it with like the chamber of commerce yeah absolutely it, it, it's for really anyone um, they could put it on their website as well yeah and the hispanic but in order commerce. to Spaces that would say, like, sign up to get your business featured. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it if you guys are not already go and take a couple of random places in Colorado. Um, you got Denver, Colorado Springs, Steamboat, Dallas, Texas, whatever, and see the kind of stuff that they're doing that they do a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, they're, they're highlighting, you know, businesses and attractions and things like this, and you'll see the kind of uh, advertising that they do as well, and I think it's good inspiration for, for all of us. Um, it might be, we could have an optional video upload also. Um, video would be awesome, the video would have it. Yeah. It's always the best. So three high quality pics slash video, do you have a time for that video? Like, uh, I'd say 60 seconds 60 max. Seconds? Maximum, anywhere from 10 to 60 seconds. And that, we can do that separately. The video can be an optional thing, but I'd say three images is, would be a requirement. Um, yeah, the idea is also to make it easy on whoever's posting this kind of stuff, whether it be the agency or it's something in house, that they don't have to do a lot of lead work to, to help. This. So, Jason, do you want to put together that invite um, so we can get something printed and start distributing it uh, as soon as it's up on the website? Like, yeah, um, I can follow up with the news on that. I'm going to do a job for the city. Uh, I don't have access to it, but making something like this is So where will it live? Where will this job form live? Like on the business page of the website? Um, I mean, it's not hard to say right now because we're redoing the website. Um, right. So, but, I mean, I would say... Yeah, I think on the business page. I think on the business page? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it's that top, top level menu item. This is not the visit, visit Trinidad. This one's the city one. Right. But there is a business page on, on the other website. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was definitely thinking on the business side, because I'm thinking of it from a, a tourist, tourist perspective. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, we could have a link to it on both. I mean, the forum will probably be semi-independent. Um, For sure. So, yeah. Jason, so I'll mention that we want it on that business page. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Any other discussion for this item? Are we comfortable with what we have? Uh, motion to move on. Second. All right. All in favor of moving on? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Discussion and presentation for Travel and Adventure Show. Um, so I am going to be going to the tra uh, Travel and Adventure Show in Denver on January 20th and 21st. We are going to be taking part in Destination Theater, um, which is what they give us. We'll have 30 minutes as a group which can buy me about three minutes. In that three minutes, I get to talk about Trinidad, what we have, um, you know, why people should come to see us. Uh, so I'm taking suggestions on three minutes worth of materials. Talk to us. Um, <laughs> this will be in January, so it'll be after the Smithsonian, so that won't be it. Um, you know, of course, Trinidad Lake State Park and Fisher's Peak, um, A.R. Mitchell Museum, um, but you guys know Trinidad better than I do, so anything that you feel should be on this list, shoot it to me and we'll get as much in in three minutes as we can. You know, I hate um, camping and fishing and things. Hiking, biking, outdoor wreck. The other thing to this is I need like, I need slides. So she's putting a slideshow together. <clears throat> so I will need three slides. Oh, she's got tons of pictures you can make. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of semblance. I can click a little bit. Um, three minutes worth of slides. Definitely a picture of the Eiffel Tower. No, tell us. <clears throat> I want the picture in the bank with the cowboys in front of the bank. That long one they have. I love that picture. Um, but yeah, so slides. I got three minutes to talk about Trinidad in front of everybody at this thing. It's two days. It would be nice. Uh, they said that when our tables would be right like at the entrance, so everybody will have to pass right by us. So. Um, I also can bring stuff. Um, they were saying visitor's guides, but I don't think we're going to have those. I, I have some that we can use. Um, um, I doubt we'll have them. My deadline is December the 11th, but they won't be printed yet. So I can have like one stand up thing behind me. I'm going to get you the measurements um, of what, what they want. But, uh, yeah, so a little stuff. I don't have a table. Um, all to myself, so I need stuff to put on the table. How big is your table? I think it's 
Let's do a uh, tablecloth, right? Okay. I'll get, I'll uh, work to get you the specific measurements so that we're not wasting anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure she said it was those six foot tables and leaves for everything, like the ones we have here. Uh -huh. I'll get you one of those. And if we order one of those tablecloths with, you know, printed out on it, we can use it for lots of different events. Yeah. The mayor's on way of bargaining <laughs> Yes. So I'll work to get you those details. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's all I really had. I just was like, this was a help moment because I'm not. I'm not the best at like creative stuff, so coming up with a slide is, you know, unless it's a graph and some data, I'm not really good at <laughs> So I'll leave on others for that. Okay, um, we'll, we'll pound it out. All right, and that's it. I have, anybody have any questions or any input on this item? Just remind me after the meeting, I want you to go in there with me and look at those stand-up banners as well. Yes. Um, all right, I take a motion of you. Really, well, you really don't need a um, motion on this because that's just an informational yeah. item. Okay. Informational item. Thank you. There's a job for you. You can come back and keep training. Yeah. 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 If you want to be a coach. Um, the last one is holiday out of market radio promotion, and this is an item from Chris. Uh, does it have on your, what happened to the uh, reallocation of some of the? And it finds it was on the hill. It was on the old one. It was. This may be the old one. I hear, I've got the one that it's not on C, that reallocation of music festival. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one. so this is the old one. Yeah, all right, because they're, they're both together. Yeah. Uh, I gave yeah, you, it was all the same item. I gave you a rough outline of uh, what I'm proposing. Um, just looking at everything we're doing. Having the Smithsonian, the business thing, what we're doing is working towards a better image for the, uh, you know, our, you know, lovely little board. Um, between the old one and the rough start of the, the new one, you know, our image in the community, I think, I'm sure everybody's heard little things, questions, but I think we're improving that. We're doing things, and then I, uh, I have been inundated with calls and texts from uh, uh, some hoteliers uh, that are representing hotels and, uh, and restaurants that, that just, they claim we can't wait for the marketing, but we've got to do something. We've got to get this last you know, little push at the end of the year, December. So what I came up with um, was the uh, Visit Trinidad and December promotion. Um, would be a radio blast. We do have the budget because I had fifteen thousand dollars we didn't spend in billboards that we just have to go through the process to, to move that over. Um, I do. I I have a really good relationship with Cumulus Media just from plugging the hell out of them in the past. Um, I want to do a radio campaign in Amarillo, Albuquerque, Colorado Springs, and Wichita Falls. They all have multiple stations. Um, I haven't gone through and, and talked to any of these stations uh, specifically yet because I uh, wanted to make sure I had something to talk to them about. But we'll choose you know, the, the stations that can give us the most bang for our buck. Uh, and I've also, the hoteliers have promised uh, you know, at least a couple of motel rooms and uh, some vouchers to eat in some of our restaurants um, to do as additional promotions with at least a couple of these stations. And that'll double, you know, our, uh, what we're buying, it'll double exposure, uh, a lot more air time. Um, and then I don't know if it's possible. I did put $10,000 in there, but I don't think we're gonna need that. If we can also add to that some of the, uh, um, Promotion on December and uh, the other things I'm going to propose in a minute um, that uh, on our digital campaign that we just committed to Smithsonian and then also do so uh, for this campaign. Um, $10,000 is 
not feasible for December, but I didn't know really how that budgeted up. And our message would be shopping, exploring music, uh, first class overnight accommodations, adventure, eating, um, and then uh, want to allocate uh, the approved $10,000 grant for the music festival for uh, Alley's Follies that uh, didn't happen, uh, got postponed twice uh, to the month of December. Uh, redo it a little bit. I had called you the other day, uh, Jason, to get some help on this, and, and uh, I didn't get through to you to uh, add that. And I talked to Steve about it. Um, we've got that allocated. We can, if we choose to, to spend it this way, um, by adding bands to some of the clubs uh, that may not, you know, have bands, you know, to at least the last half of the week. Um, some of the clubs that may not be doing bands in December to help them pay for it. Logistics on it. It's the garage door closing. Oh, okay. The logistics on it, uh, we've got to work out. And, uh, you know, whether we pay, you know, we get the bands to the clubs, get them hooked up, instead of us working and trying to book these bands here, talk to the clubs that are willing to do it, let them, you know, book the clubs and then we'll have to work on how we, uh, we pay for that extra bands. Like, the only thing with, with the well, um, we can do it there too. But you'll have to recuse yourself on this particular vote if we don't do that. Um, I don't think you mind that swap out, but uh, you can still help me. And I talked to JC Pico uh, uh, over at the theater about helping with it too. If we get approved, then we'll have to sit down and meet and figure out what we're doing. And, and uh, I'll find out how to. I don't want to pay the clubs direct, I want to pay the bands if we can, but it depends on what's easiest with, with the city and uh, working that out. But we got $10,000 to work with. Um, I told JC about it, but the size of it. I mean, you've talked to Sai too. She's talked to everybody in the world on this. I've got three texts from her today asking them. You know, they were, they were, I would think, imagine yeah. that Cheryl. Our account would probably prefer to pay directly to the bands. Directly to the bands. But I would talk to Biden. Yeah. That would probably be. Nah, I got you. I kind of figured that, that it just makes yeah. more sense to pay them. Mm -hmm. to that. We just have to figure out how to do that. Yeah. So, you, just, first of all, you have to go to council and get this approved. Right. So, you'll have to make a proposal to council. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, get that on the agenda. Yeah. When is the next? Tuesday. 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 So you would have to get her your information and to uh, her on to Audra by I would say Thursday. And then Tuesday. somebody planned to be there to present to council. Yeah. Well, I get uh, go to Tuesday. Tuesday. It's a. It's six, just, uh, six o'clock. Is it six? Yeah. Okay, we'll be done here. We have a special meeting next Tuesday. So. What do you? That's at five o'clock. I get it. I go when it gets at five. Well, I obviously you can go to the city council, so we'll get it on the agenda um, if if we vote to, to do it. Uh, also, want to you know promote the Smithsonian. Um, just that name, you know, catches people's ear, um, and then uh, you know the rest of it, you know, raise awareness, you know, the, the city as we get ready to go into the winter months and uh, we turn. A lot of this over to uh, our marketing firm. Hopefully, we we get a good one and, and, and go forward. But I think all of this that we're doing and getting the marketing firm is going to shore up, you know, at least most people how they feel about uh, you know this board and uh, the way it's working for the community and and uh, it it because we are we're doing so much more and even the old board did so much more than people realized because it's you know. If you don't see it, you know, you don't know Steven Sai, you know, and she's been on you know, a tourism board. She had no idea what we were already doing and what was happening here. Just to let you know, I got with Marty because she called me about that issue. And uh, Marty sent me all of the advertisement that's been done. Yeah. The schedule, so. Well, she, she was thinking that well, nothing was being done, so I sent all that information to Sai, so she had it right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we've paused 
future things in terms of the prints, but we at Design we're going out and pulling stuff down. So everything that's out this year is still out. Right. Um, so I don't see any dramatic shift in terms of what has been done or is being done. That was the whole idea to so maintain everything that was all okay. Yeah. And and you know, it, to the honest with you, I mean, I watched the the meetings from the beginning of this. You know, my interest never ever waned after you know the change of the boards and stuff. And I didn't realize how much we were still doing just because we didn't tell anybody. And, uh, you know, it didn't get out there. And, uh, people don't dig deep enough to you know to really research and, and do things. Um, but I think this is a good, you know, a good addition to what we're already doing. Um, it's uh, it's going to take a little bit of extra work, you know, and, and uh, time and, and getting all of these media, uh, these uh, cumulus stations, getting you know good schedules run. I can negotiate those. I've <laughs> done it for you know, my time. I told the council I've done this for over 50 years. I. Uh, uh, I've watched the way it's changed and, and what we do on a copyright. <coughs> I can uh, I can write the copy uh, and I have all the facts. So uh, if uh, if we approve to uh, we can allocate the money for the for the bands because it's still the same thing, but then they'll have to go to the council for the. Uh, what you need to do now is put a specific uh, ask so that for you guys to vote on it and bring it to council. For the advertising, for, for the right bit. So what we're asking is to reallocate the money that was put for the music festival to radio spots. Right. No. 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 That money. Two things. That money would go to pay for bands. Steve said that's already been approved. So we don't have to. Do yeah, to pay for that. to pay for music with that money has already been approved. Okay. We're we gonna run into trouble because. It's boosting private enterprises. We talked about this. With the it, 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 if we do it fairly, that's what we're going to figure out and, and see how we do it. Um, it is uh, we're promoting. Just like if, if we did a festival, it would be you know in Main Street Live. It would be in, in whatever clubs and stuff that we uh, that we promoted those fans in. So it's it, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Steve and I talk about it a lot. He doesn't think it's a problem. So. How many venues do we have available? Well, that's another thing I wanted to get with, with uh, Jason about what what venues really make sense that are you know that are doing live right. music and, and what we can do. Okay. So, so there's two, two separate two different proposals. It's uh, one of them is uh, I'll go to city council and uh, ask for. Ten thousand dollars that is in the budget was for billboards to move it to radio outside market radio promotion for December. So and you'll, then, you'll uh, also need a motion in house with the, with this board to do that, and then a second motion to use that ten thousand dollar grant for the music festival. Yeah, move it to December. Okay. It'll be moved from October to November. Mm -hmm. I would just move it to December and actually hopefully use it at this time. So uh, I make a motion first on the radio, outside radio market, uh, outside the market radio promotion of uh, up to $10,000 to get the last uh, with the uh, cumulus media. And just to clarify, the motion is to request from council. Ten thousand dollars be moved from the billboard but to it, radio for for advertising in Emerald, Albuquerque, Colorado Springs, and Wichita Falls. Now there's dozens of other markets. We Wait, can go you made a motion. So let's act on that motion. Anybody second? I want to talk a little more. Okay, go for it. Um. One, does 10K have to go to council? And two, what's our current budget, budget situation? It doesn't have to go to council, and Chris is right. There is a, um, a balance in the billboard budget. Got it. So this would be coming out of billboard, which is an advertising line item. Right. right. Um, which we didn't spend because it was happening. So, so what does have to happen, though, is um, LTAP has to make a, a formal request to amend the budget. 
Um, you have one opportunity throughout the year, your budget year, to make a request to move major amounts of funds from one line item to another. So that is something that it is a budget re uh, change request. It would just be a reallocation. It's a reallocation, but you have to make a formal request. Sure. Yeah, I mean, if we have the money, I don't see us spending it on anything else in the next six weeks. I'm comfortable with that. Sure. Yeah. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Amanda? Aye. Thank you. <laughs> it hurts me every time she said it. Any opposed? <laughs> All right. Got it. Okay. Um, second motion. And the second motion is to. Uh, 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 I don't want to say it, to uh, utilize the funds already approved for music and uh, for the a music festival to be used in the month of December. For? For the promotion of Trinidad and bands playing in the clubs, the festival to be throughout the cities. And what's the specific amount? Uh, uh, again, up to 10000 but uh, that's what we had. If, if if we can't spend that much, then we won't spend it. So. I think the world would like to participate, so I'm going to recuse myself from this vote. So the motion on the floor is to use the music festival ten thousand dollar budget to hire bands to play in various. Venues around Trinidad in the month of December. Right. And that I don't think that's sort of the council's what Steve said because it's already been requested in the city. And does anybody second that motion? I'll second it. We're going to have to figure out a second. I don't think I am. All in favor say aye. Aye. Amanda. Aye. Any opposed? And with that being said, Jason, when are you back in town and we can sit down and just figure out logistics on this? In town, I don't know. The next couple of months are going to be the most challenging in my life because we're on the final steps of getting our hotel open and me. I have a group of contractors moving into our house tomorrow. Oh, okay. So I will be in and out of Trinidad, and that person will be challenging for me for the near future. Well, I can get with JC and then figure out. Uh, basically, I just need a discussion of clubs. I'm not a clubber. You can give me a call, though. Um, okay, I'll do that. Yeah, do you have my number? Yeah, I can't see you. Do you, have, you. do you have his number? I do. I left you a message the other day. You sound like you've been busy. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't check voicemails. Uh, text me. Okay. I gotta get a phone call so that the boss of 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 the boss well, and Cy sent me like a list this long of bands and contact numbers, so. Good deal. Yeah. Okay, that's it for that item. Um, anybody have any miscellaneous? I do not today. I just wanted to remind everybody that tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we have our uh, round, our legislative round table. And what we do there is we bring in our, our city county officials. We bring in our state uh, representative and senator. We will also have representatives from all of our congressional and senate offices at the federal level. They'll be here. We will also have our, uh, our lobbyist, Mike Beasley. And I talked to him specifically with the 
uh, the failure of uh, HH, and he's going to come with, because he's been involved directly with this new uh, special session that is starting Friday. Uh, he's been involved with that discussion, and uh, he will be here to talk about that and other uh, legislative items that may be coming up in the next legislative session. So just uh, if you guys know of anybody, let them know that this will be very good for you guys to attend. And anyone else, okay? And be here. I have a couple of things. Uh, the lodging tax, obviously, you all know that it did fail. Uh, so, just barely. No, but not even, not even just barely. It was a lot. It failed a lot. Right. So we will be placing that back on the next at the next opportunity, which is the next election. Um, and we are going to hit it hot and heavy. So we'll be presenting to Rotary clubs and chambers and whoever we can. So we'll put together a. Um, strategy for doing this, Steve and I are working on it, on how to really, really get it out there and educate people on what the lodging tax is and what it will be used for. So and what re this board is doing. Rewriting yeah. the ordinance. Uh, I mean, when the ordinance was rewritten and it, the different buckets that we will be pulling our funds out, uh, out of lodging taxes for, to use for quality of life, the benefits to the residents, etc. So, um, when we have a campaign together, that we—I mean, we're not bound now because it's not. There's no profit, There's no proposal out there. Before we were bound, we couldn't say anything because we were city employees. Now there's no proposal. I mean, there's no ballot out there right now, so we can we can pound it heavy. And once the ballot is out there, then yeah, then we have to zip it. But well, up to that we, point, we have a year to really market it and propose and educate our residents on what the lodging tax is and how it's used. I engage I'm getting a photographic for this that I've been sharing around so I can email it to Marty and maybe you could blast it out to uh, the board just so everyone can have a copy of it or I could just send it to guys individually. Yeah. I hit this really heavy on the Facebook groups and um, Definitely got into it with a lot of people. Um, I I will say most people come to me and tell me that I'm very, very level-headed and um, good at explaining things. But the biggest, one of the biggest uh, pieces of feedback from that was just like, we don't see what that money's being spent on today, so why should we give you more? So I think establishing our track record is absolutely vital for this. So we this will be an ongoing deal all yes. year. So. Yep. We, I mean, it kind of speaks to the things you touched on today, Chris, where just showing that track record, showing that we are effective. Um, so there's definitely a lot hinging on our, all the things we're setting up right now. Yep. Well, you know, the last, when this thing was first you know, thought of way back in 90, or 2001, 2002, I think that's when it came into play. Uh, I think it took two times before. Three, right? three times before. Three times before. Yeah. For the initial lodging. Yeah. 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 Um, and then the other one was the home lighting contest. So um, most of you may know that we do a home lighting contest within the city so homeowners can decorate their homes. And then we run the trolley. Uh, anybody can board the trolley and then go around and they vote on the home. So we'll be uh, working on that. Kim and I are working on that for the next and so we can get that going. Um, so those are just two things I wanted to remind you about. Thank you. Okay. Do you guys have anything, Jason, Amanda? Do you guys have anything? I do not. All right. Oh. Uh, discussion agenda for? Yeah, what is uh, next agenda? I don't think we came up with any items. I well, have to, of course, oh, do you, of course. Uh, I wanted to, to present you guys with a data file report from the destination blueprint. Uh, so we redesigned the um, geofencing around the area. The previous geofencing didn't have exit 11 on it, so that was important to change that. It still had the Canyon on it. It also didn't have Fisher's Peak on it. So we redesigned the geofencing. 
and we had a data file, I had a data file report that will be coming from Destination Blueprint by the next meeting. Um, and then I'll give you a visitor guide update as well. So if you want to come Is that on next week's meeting or next week's a special? No, uh, next week is um, our field yeah, no, yeah, it won't be on the next. It won't be on a special meeting. It'll be on your next agenda. Uh, the not the twenty eighth. The yeah, the twenty eighth. You're right. The twenty eighth. Yeah. That's not the one we said we want to keep light. Is it? That was in December. This won't take long. Okay. Okay. And anything else for the twenty eighth? Um. So we could return to looking at the. Visitor the yes. website for you. Put that on there. And the um, spotlight web form as well. We'll have an update on that. Good. All right. And if anybody else thinks of anything between now and then, reach out. Yeah, I would also just uh, we might as well put update on the Smithsonian advertising slash maybe social media advertising in general. Um, I'll send a note to you and Lisa via email just to get in touch um, because I want to make sure we start getting that stuff held up. And so if I can assist, that's great. Um, but whatever we can do, just push it forward. Because that's going to be the framework. Once the account's set up, we can advertise whatever we want, whatever we want. Um, it, it'll be kind of just ready to go. It's pretty easy to set up a new ad. So, um, so yeah, I'll just just to make sure it's moving forward. Yeah, it does. Anything else? You realize how out of touch we were before these things came. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wrapping up right now. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. Now, time motion to adjourn. If anybody's. I'll make it. And second. Second. Uh, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye.